It took some time, but Poco F4 is now running on the latest MIUI 14 that's based on Android 13. Although the Poco X4 GT was the first one to get the update, that one is still on MIUI 13. I actually did a review of that, which you can check below. But in this video, we're going to talk about the performance of the new update on the Poco F4, the changes and new things I've noticed as well. But to preface this video, MIUI 14 is mostly under the hood changes. I mean, the UI is pretty much identical, if not similar. I still see the same lock screen, the same home screen, the same setting management, and the same camera features. In fact, the update notes one additional feature only, which is search history and categories and results when searching in settings. That's basically it. But then again, some features are included with the update but not in the notes. For starters, double tap on the screen from the home screen is now working. I used to add a lock widget as a workaround, but finally the function has been fixed and is now working. Second is the high refresh rate or 120Hz support on YouTube application. Before, the software locks the refresh rate to 60Hz while most of the apps are running on 120Hz. It's not a big deal, but it's always good to see a consistent, fast refresh rate across all apps. However, Netflix is still stuck at 60 Hz. Third is a new batch of pre-installed wallpapers. I know you can get wallpapers basically from any wallpaper app, but sometimes first-party wallpapers look great and of high quality, and I appreciate Poco doing that here. But I still think they missed the opportunity to update its super wallpapers. Super wallpapers is a great feature of MIUI thanks to the seamless transition of wallpapers from the always-on display to the lock screen and then to the home screen. They said that they will support more of these features soon, but since the POCO F3, I have yet to see new super wallpapers from them, at least for the global model of the POCO F series. I also think they forget about the always on display as I have yet to see additional always on display options. They are way behind here compared to the likes of Samsung and Honor and even Realme. Did you know that in the battery setting, you can check the number of times you charge this phone in a day and its current battery temperature? It's not a new feature, but Poco did change the indicator of the temperature. So instead of giving the specific value in degree Celsius, it now says whether the battery is cool, warm, or hot. Some of you might not like it, but I think it makes it easier to understand the condition of the battery for most people. That's about it for the changes I've noticed. But before we proceed to the performance, let me tell you quickly about today's sponsor. BZ Features Edifier G5BT is the company's premium built wireless gaming headset that offers RGB lighting and detachable ears for that anime look, making it a great fit for streamers out there. The G5BT has a retractable built-in mic for ease of use, but there's also a 3.5mm jack for no latency gaming and better high-res audio quality. For $100, you can grab this Bluetooth wireless gaming headphone on our website at bzfuture.com or you can check the links below to redirect you to the headphone's official shop link. You can also check our review of this headphone in another video. Thank you to BZ Future for being a partner. As far as day-to-day -day performance goes, nothing has changed significantly. Poco F4 is still fast and fluid and consistent. I have not seen any major or minor bugs during my weeks of testing. The only change I've noticed is the battery life of this phone. Considering it's been months, I'm impressed to see the battery life be significantly longer than before. I used to charge this phone by dinner time after a regular workday. But this time, in light use, this phone lasts about 2 days worth or nearly 48 hours of connected or standby time. And in the times when I watched videos for long hours, there were days when I would end up with 7 hours of screen time and around 5 hours to 6 hours when mixed with gaming. Basically, the battery went from very good to great. That's pretty much what's new with the Poco F4 running on MIUI 14 based on Android 13. Nothing has changed much with the cameras, but I do expect some improvements or changes on the next major update as well as some visual changes in the UI. But for now, Poco F4 is still a solid phone today in terms of overall functionality and features. Drop a sub or like if you feel like supporting the channel, and as always, until the next one, stay safe.